Hey guys, welcome to Mousebound Vacations, what to pack in your backpack. Now each family is going to be a little bit different, but we want to just give you a little overview of what we include in our backpack. So first and foremost, you need this water bottle. You, we prefer one that has some sort of filter because Orlando water has a little bit of a sulfur taste to it, but you want to be able to refill that throughout the park. So bring some sort of refillable water bottle. And then let's dig in. So with that water bottle, like I said, Orlando water is not the best tasting. So we always bring something that will take the taste away. So maybe like a little lemonade packet, some crystal light, something like that to flavor your water. They even have like those little drops you can use. Those are a great deal anyways, because you want your kiddos and your family member to stay hydrated in that hot, hot heat. Water bottle. Now, we usually bring a smaller one, but I wanted you to be able to see it. You might also want to think of putting some peppermint oil in it so that when you're spritzing your family, when they're hot in line, it just instantly cools them. And plus it gives a nice refreshing smell. Next thing, mole skin. If you've never used mole skin, you may not have been to Disney. So mole skin is a very thick barrier between you your skin and your shoe or your sock to really stop those blisters from forming. We always also pack some blister band-aids and then just some regular band-aids as well in case somebody falls or gets injured. You can always go to first aid at the parks though as well and they'll hook you up with band-aids at no charge. A poncho, it rains a lot in Disney, typically just for about 20 to 30 minutes. We like the ponch ears. If you are not familiar with Ponchiers, it's a company that has ponchos that have built-in ear protection. So if you're wearing those ears, those Mickey or Minnie ears, then there's lots of room for them to stay dry. So we use a Ponchiers, but you can use a regular poncho even from the dollar store or from Walmart, something like that. A neck fan, there are all sorts of different kinds, but you're gonna want something that's gonna blow air on your neck to keep you cool and maybe some backup batteries for those as well. Snacks, all the snacks you can bring to keep those kids happy and entertained. We like fruit snacks, maybe some granola bars, little bags of chips, whatever you want to keep those kids not hangry. Back to those staying cool, we use a cooling towel or a sweat rag as we call it to make sure that everybody is not all sweaty. You can wipe your faces down, dip them in water, stay cool that way. So this is a frog tog, but we use any kind of brand of cooling towel. Sunscreen, you definitely want to bring sunscreen for your family. Deodorant, it's not gonna last all day, people, not in that heat. So make sure you bring that deodorant as well. This is Gold Bond Friction Defense, affectionately called Chub Rub. So if maybe you, you're not as skinny as you would like to be, it's a great use to put like between your thighs so that they're not chafing when you're doing miles and miles and miles of walking each day. So you really don't want to go without that Chub Rub. Socks. Extra socks. If you are stuck in a little deluge of rain area, you want to be able to change socks so that your feet aren't getting that swamp foot. And then it also, if you have kiddos that are young, maybe they're going through potty training, you might want to put an extra set of clothes in for them as well in case they spill something or, uh, you know, they have an accident. You want to be able to change quickly, but everybody should have an extra pair of socks just in case. They came in really handy this last trip. A straw. This is not just any straw, this is a silicone straw. Why is that important? Because Disney and all Orlando theme parks are doing away with those plastic single-use straws and are going to uh, paper straws. I don't know about you, but I cannot drink out of a paper straw. I hate the texture. I hate how it starts to kind of disintegrate while you're drinking. So we bring silicone straws with us. You can pick them up Target, Walmart, anywhere, even the dollar store has them occasionally. So just bring a silicone straw with you. Advil. 
all the Advil, Tylenol, whatever you need to get you through the day. Chapstick, because you're going to be doing a lot of talking, a lot of screaming and cheering and caring. You want to make sure that your lips are moist. Another thing is if you are wanting to take lots of pictures, you might want to bring a little makeup bag with some uh, dry powder to take away any grease on your face, a hairbrush, lip gloss, anything that you're going to need to look beautiful in all those pictures that you're going to have taken at the parks. A charger. We recommend a brick charger because it will be able to charge multiple devices. Then obviously you want to have that charging cord. And last but not least, you really want to have something that will plug into a wall. If you're seated at a restaurant or anywhere and for whatever reason this is running low on power, you can plug it into the wall and recharge it. So that is us unpacking our backpack. And I just wanted to go through a few little things like that with you. Make sure that you're looking at the specific needs of your family. And if you have any questions on what your specific family should be including in their backpack, just reach out to your Mouse Found Vacations Travel Specialist or give us a call at one 877 great trips Have a great day, guys, and can't wait to see you in the parks.